Hi everybody. Welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I hope everybody's doing well. I was going to do this video tomorrow, but I can't sleep. <laughs> and I mean, it's not nighttime, but I, I was trying to get a nap because I had a long day, but I'm just restless. So we're going to go ahead and do this video now. All right, so grab bag. And I got it from that same person that I got that last grab bag from. You know, I asked him would he like to be filmed. He said no. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe he wasn't well dressed because he's a, he's a dresser. Yeah. Oh wow, you can see something right here. That's beautiful. You see that? Some abalone shell. Oh, that's exciting. I never even looked at it. It's been wrapped up in a bag. That's cute. You know, I love me some abalone shell. Oh, we have a heart. I love vintage hearts. Okay, let's get it. Let's open. Look like some milk glass beads. I hope those are milk glass and not plastic. And it'd be really nice if it was ruined because then I could make a necklace out of it. So I don't think I need my scissors. It looks like there's some tape here. I noticed one of my videos sounded awful. It was from the fan. And I'm hot, but I don't want to put it back on. This bag is filthy. My gosh, what happened to it? <laughs> okay. Oh, smells really bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, one thing about junk jewelry, it smells horrible sometimes. So I have my portable fan. But I don't know. Is that noise going to interfere? See, I don't know. I'm not going to put it on yet. I'm just going to try to bear the heat. I didn't want to put the AC on. It's just so expensive. Okay, and it's not safe to dig your hand in because you can poke, so we're going to just kind of dump some out. Okay. So we'll dump it out here. Okay. What's that abalone piece? Oh, I lost it. Oh, no. Oh, okay, it's way down here because I don't want it to break. So, you know what? It's stuck in there, so I'm not going to force it out. Oh, no. It's all tangly. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, guys. I wanted a junk jewelry bag. I sure got it. This is a, a, a junk jewelry bag. Oh, yes. Okay, that's enough. Got some over there. Okay, let's see what we're working with. I forgot to put on my other lamp. Oh, this is cute. Although one is missing. That's cute. And I'm going to, I guess I'll use this. Let me pull all my things. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I have my... In case we get some bracelets, you know, we could model them. And then I got my neck holder and this. So this is cute. So gorgeous dangle earring. They do, I call these chandelier earrings, but there's one missing. Kind of like a pink quartz in it. That's cute. I do like the accent diamonds that's around each piece. Let me just see it. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, I hope the other one's in there. I would actually like to wear that. I wouldn't mind. So I have my tray. So when I do stuff like this, I like to sort. So when I'm done, I have like a pile for me. Things I think I want to keep. Uh, some for uh, junk, like things I can make jewelry out of. And then maybe like for my granddaughter. You know, little things like that. Yeah. So... So I'm going to put this in the, the earring pile. And then always make an earring so that if you find the match, you know where to go for it. This is cute. A little plastic teddy bear. <laughs> it's a pendant. That's cute. That's cute. I think my granddaughter may like that. I don't know. Okay, I like that. It's a pen. And it's like um friends holding hands. That's a symbol, but I can't think of it right now. And in fact, I don't want to think of anything. I bought my tablet, but I have to Google, so I'm just not in the mood to be thinking about anything right now. It's a man's watch. It says FHD. I don't know what that is. Very cheaply made. It has no weight whatsoever. <laughs> Very cheaply made, but it has a nice look to it. It really does. That's a cute little look to it. 
it made it look like a vintage watch, but it doesn't have the vintage weight. And you can tell right away it's not the same piece. But that's a cute, cute watch. So I'll put that in, um, I guess, down here of things that I won't be keeping. Here's another watch. And this is a Wranglo. That's nice. Water resistance. I had one of these before. It was a little different, though. Got your gorgeous leather band. That's vintage. This is nice. I'm not going to actually keep this because I love me some Wrangler. You know, you guys know that. I love Wrangler. I love Levi. Yeah. So I will keep that and add that to my watch collection. Just need some cleaning up. So you can actually wash these leather bands. You just get some soap and go gently with a little toothbrush and then rinse it off. And it actually comes out clean. You just let it dry. That's a cute find. And I like the um, design on it. It has a beautiful accent diamond on the bottom. Can you see that? It's so bright. But you see the diamond on the bottom? Maybe like this. Sometimes when I do this, I don't know if you can see it or not. Because what I see in there is just a big glob. So I can't even tell. Yeah. Alright, what is this? That looks like a necklace, right? Yeah, but it's broke. You know, I could easily fix it. It's just a little hinge right there. It just came off the little hinge. This is actually cute. I like this. Yeah, I actually like this. Let me show it to you on here. They call this like the coin jewelry. And then, you know, I love coin jewelry. So that's why I'm liking it. So it goes like that. It's cute. And then this little guy just came out. The little thing is right there. You just open that up and put it right on. In fact, I can do it right now. Is my tools here? Oh, no, it's not here. Oh, it's right here. That's not the one I'm looking for, though. Yeah. Let's see it. See, this is not the one. I need the other one. I think I can do it. Is it in there? <laughs> it, it got stuck. <laughs> like it's in there, but it, okay, it went through. Okay, see, it's fixed. Easy fix. This is cute. This is really cute. I love the geometrical shapes. It goes on my shirt almost. That's a cute uh, find. Yes, I'm going to add that to my collection. I love it. It's kind of like, I don't know what material that is. It's not grass, but I love that. Okay, so I'm hot. <laughs> and I'm just starting now. This is cute. This one needs to be fixed too. This is darling. She needs to be fixed. The little thing is right there. So anyway, is this, does this go to that? No. No, that doesn't go to it, but I guess you could wear it with it. It's an earring. Let's maybe we'll have the other one. I'm gonna put all the earrings right there. And there's another one of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Okay. And this is a a knitted necklace, which is kind of ruined. Oh well, no, it's not. It's not ruined. This is cute. It has these beautiful porcelain beads on it. See, I was thinking just right away, cut it and just keep the beads. But as I'm looking at it, I kind of like the quilting. It's kind of gorgeous with this cute tassel in the pink. So I, I, I'm sure I'll keep that. I actually like it. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be a clasp on the top. That's cute. Not really my style, though. I don't know about that piece. I may just cut it apart and keep the beads. Yeah, I'm, I don't know about that. Oh, this is nice. How do you put it on? Oh, it's broke. Yeah, that's pretty. I love the colors. Love the colors. It's Native American. It's missing some stuff, but that's cute. Oh, I see some Murano. Okay. We can get it out apart. <laughs> So this guy that I bought this jewelry from, this is how I used to buy my jewelry 
years ago. I mean, but it used to be a box of this stuff. Yeah. He doesn't even shop that much anymore. This is cute. It needs to, it needs to be fixed. Some cute um, little glass accents on it. That's kind of cute. I like that. If nothing, I can take these off and make that into something. That's cute. It looks like it's missing a piece, though. It should be a little longer. Maybe the piece is in there, so we'll put that there. But I see some Murano, but this is not the string that should be there. Oh, no, that's not Murano. You see the back? See how crude it is? It's not complete here. Murano did stuff perfectly, so you could tell right away it's not Murano. It doesn't, doesn't have the look. And look at the front. That is not Murano. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know, I collect these things. I'll, I'll add that to my collection. Where's that abalone piece? Well, that's right. I couldn't get it out. I want to see what that is. Oh, okay, this is nice. What's that glass? I didn't bring my alcohol wipe. I have a few here. I have one. Okay. So when you're testing jewelry that you're just getting, do not put it on your teeth. You give it a wipe. That's plastic. Yeah, that's plastic. Felt like glass. Wow, those are cute though. That's a cute little glass bead. That's that's not that's not glass though. It sure looks like it. I'm confused on that. That's cute. I hope I have the other one. Let me put it with the earring. This stuff is so tangly, guys. I don't know. It's I need to pull it closer to me. That's what I need to do. Yeah. I just need to pull it closer to me. Oh, this is gorgeous. So I'm just trying to close it because I don't want to stick myself. And I have my loop, but I don't see a signature. I don't see a signature, but that's a nice uh, vintage piece. Uh, Art Deco style. That's cute. That is really nice. Yeah, I like that. Nice hefty piece. It's made really well. I don't see any signatures, though. Nope, it's not no signature. That's a nice piece. It's kind of like a zigzag. You guys know I love zigzags. And here's something else. How did my wire get stuck in this jewelry? Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's definitely antique. You see the back with that swivel back? This is gorgeous. It's a leaf in the back, a giraffe and an elephant, and the brass. It's a brass piece. Isn't that beautiful? My goodness, this is a brooch. That's bizarre. I've never had two animals in one like that unless it was the same species. It's even like a little uh, uh, forest in the back. You know what? Did someone just make this? Did they just glue the pieces together? No, that's how it was. This may be like a hobbyist piece. Yeah, this may be like a hobbyist piece because you can see the glue and companies normally don't just glue them in like that. So someone had some brass pieces. They put some trees in the back and then they put this on the back. Okay, they made this a hobbyist piece. At least I think. I could be wrong. I don't see a maker so I can't even Google it. I believe it's a hobbyist piece because, like I said, I've never seen nothing like that. It's kind of bizarre. But that's cute. That gives me some ideals. I could actually make something like this because I have tons of little scrap pieces like that. I don't even know if I want to keep that now that I know that it's not a real piece. I don't know. I'm not feeling it too much. What's this? This is cute. What is it, though? It's missing something. It was attached to something, whatever it is. Oh, I do like these little people. I used to have a lot of jewelry like this. I sold it. Well, I didn't sell it. I put it on consignment. Yeah. 
And wow, when I went back, they had them all polished and, sh and shined up. They were still like, do I have any left? No, I can sign them all. I don't have any. I'm not sure what this is. Is it Christmas? I'm not sure what that is. I have no idea, but I'll keep it for crafts. Well, that's cute. Two little birds on a pendant. I like that. That's really cute. It's a gold tone necklace. That's cute. Two little, I think, like love birds. That's cute. I, I'm digging that. It's cute. And the pieces that I'm saying I'm going to keep, I'm not going to necessarily keep them. We'll just have to see. Yeah. Okay, we got a stopwatch. I don't need any more stopwatches. Sonora. That's nice. It's a really nice one. So I will add that to my collection. Last time I got one that I didn't keep, remember? I like that one. They're not valuable, but I collect them. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is cute. Some Hello Kitty jewelry. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, this is nice. It's an R. What does that stand for? If this wasn't so cheaply made, it'd be gorgeous, but I'm not going to keep that. It's so cheaply made. Okay. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's all connected. It looks like some pearls. What was this? Because this is one piece. Some kind of necklace which is terribly broke. <laughs> and then we have a dragonfly. That's cute. I do like that. Yeah, nice and whimsical. This is cute. You could even hang that like in your car. That's cute. I like that. Didn't we have something like this the other day? Right in one of my bags. It was a copy, but it was different. Yeah. Okay, what's here? Some rhinestones. That's broke. This is cute. It says Allison. Has some cute little rhinestones. That's a gorgeous heart pendant. It's so heavy. Nice vintage, sturdy piece. I'm definitely going to keep that. Get it shined up, and I will, I will wear it. I love that. That's gorgeous. Guys, I need my fan. I'm suffocating over here under these lights, but it messes up my video. This is a funky ring. It's so little. That's pretty, though. It's got some cute stones. That's nice. Let's see what's here. Oh, Disney. Oh, that's so cute. You know, I collect vintage hair bows, but I don't know if I want to keep a Disney. I think I will, because it's kind of cute if I wear it, like, in the summertime, like, with a Hawaiian outfit or a beachy outfit. That might be kind of cute. It needs a lot of cleaning. It's so sticky and filthy. And this broke, or is that how it is? That's how it is. I like this. This is a ring. I wish it was bigger has a rose petal with a diamond and then some leaves. That is cute. Is it broke? No, it's not broke. That's the way it's made. And here's a cute hair pen. That's cute. <laughs> it's not antique, but that's cute. It just might be antique, because I don't know if they even make stuff like that anymore, right? That just might be antique. That's a nice one. It has a pearl with some diamond, I mean some rhinestones. Can you see it? Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, yes, please. I love that. So I'm trying to get this necklace apart. Um, here's a cute little... Uh, Kind of like a Murano bead. You see that? That's gorgeous. But it's stuck all together, so I have to take that apart some other time. And uh, we have a bracelet here. A 
the necklace, I mean, which is all tangled. <laughs> oh, that's cute, though. You see that? That's a necklace. Now, that's nice. Is it in one piece? Ooh. This stuff is real tangly. <laughs> I don't mind, though, because when it's tangly, you have a lot of stuff because he was able to get a lot of things in the bag. It's really tangly, but this is gorgeous. It looks like some ice cream swirl. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. You know, I love stuff like this. This may even be Murano. Look how deep, beautiful done it is with that swirl. Uh, let me look at it. Mm, I don't think so. It's not Murano. It's not uh, perfection, but it's so gorgeous. It's very heavy. And it's so tangly. I'm going to have to pull out a part some other time. Let me just look in here and see what I see. That looks like that's broke. There's a lot of necklaces in here. I don't like stuff like this. Yeah, I don't, I'm not interested in anything like that. <laughs> that's, not, that's not me. But some people love that stuff. this oh here's another necklace now, that's pretty that's pretty i don't know about weird but it's pretty it actually looks western doesn't it that's like a western feel oh yeah looks western to me that's kind of cute i may or may not keep it i have to look, look over it what's this Oh, wow, this is beautiful. It's a bowl of grapes or with some vines going down. A couple of the stones are missing. Oh, let me see if there's a signature. I don't see any signature. But it's a nice old piece. It's got a swirly clasp. And isn't it gorgeous? It's a brooch. Isn't that beautiful? It's a bowl of grapes. And then they have... Some grapes that fell and some vines. You know how the vines come down. That's beautiful. My goodness. Jesus. It looks like it's gold, but it's not. It's just like a gold plate or something. And so uh, three of the grapes are missing. Actually four. I think four. One in the bowl and then three in the, the plant itself. I don't know if you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus Christ, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's Victorian. No question about it. That is beautiful. Oh my God, it's made so nice too on the back. Let me show you. It's a beautiful piece. Mm, looks like something is broke though. I'm just noticing it. Darn it. It's just too beautiful. Yeah, it would have been another piece of vine going this way to make the piece a little longer. And you can feel it right there broke off, but you can't really tell. Wow, that's a bummer. Well, I thought I had a beautiful vine right there. It's broke, though. Well, that, that's a bummer. Oh, these are kind of cute. They're so cheaply made. Okay, I don't think I see anything else in here that, I'm, that I need to show. What's this rhinestone stuff? Oh, okay, well, here's a beautiful necklace. You know, I love me some rhinestones, have that art deco. And this is in perfect condition. Let me show it to you. That is gorgeous. Oh, yes, please. Yes, 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 please. <laughs> That's beautiful. And it's old. See how the back is? You can tell by the back of the mechanism, the way they... Make, they, they make rhinestones a certain way, and the newer pieces are totally different. That's a great find right there. I'll add that to my collection. Oh, this is nice. A bracelet watch. That is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful, like a, uh, it wants to be Aurora Borealis, almost kind of, but it's more like a peachy champagne diamond accent. Who makes this? This is beautiful. It says, uh, Canado Quartz. This is gorgeous. I love this. I love these type of vintage things with these hinges. I love that type of stuff. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I want to actually put it on. Oh, that takes my breath away. I love it. Where's my um, armor? Oops, I'm sorry. 
I hope you guys can hear me with that fan blowing, but I ha it's that big fan. It doesn't go on here, it's too little. Okay, so far I'm happy finding some nice stuff. Yes, we got that. We got a beautiful watch. Nice. This is a, you know, I love collecting um stick pins, so I'm happy about that. I don't have many. This is a beautiful necklace in here, but it's so tangled with that glass piece I showed you. I didn't see some beads, I mean some pearls, and I need some pearls, right, to make some necklaces. Well, this is a nice bracelet, though. It just needs to be repaired. I think I'm going to try to fix this, because these are real pearls. See how they got the knots in them, and they're nice and heavy. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can fix that. That's gorgeous. Yes, I don't. I was going to say I'll use it for pearls, but... Um, I thought it was a necklace. I just thought it was a piece of a necklace, but it's actually a bracelet. And there's nothing missing, just that this came loose. That came loose, you just put it right in there, and it just take one second to fix that. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the clasp. It's like a basket weave. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's a beautiful piece. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm having just too much fun. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life right now. Because <laughs> everything in here is what I like. You know, it would be really nice to do some market sites in here. But normally if he have market sites, he'll sell them to me separately because he knows I just crazy about them. Yeah. Okay, let's move this stuff aside. There's all sorts of goodies in here. I just can't. I don't feel like pulling it all apart. Like I'll have to do that another time. What I will do though, these are cute too. Some vintage. And I have some of these, but I don't have this color. That's cute. It's a regular metal color. That is cute, like a stainless. I like those. Um, when I pull it apart, I'll show you in another video what I got, what all I got out of it. Yeah. So this is what I got out the last grab bag. I still haven't fixed it. <laughs> it's still sitting there with the little thing I want to put on it. The cupid. That's gorgeous. I love part jewelry. Okay. Finish the bag since we to wrap this video up anyway. What's this? Oh, this is some peace signs. Oh, it's a watch. Oh, that's cute. Oh no, it had to be cracked. Oh man, this would have been gorgeous. Do you see that? The peace signs is beautiful. It's not sterling, but you could shine it like sterling. It's that beautiful stainless. But look what happened to the glass. Oh my god, that's a bummer. Oh, I'm, I'm in love with this bracelet. Jesus, I'm in love with it. It's a bracelet watch. I'm in love with it. I'll wear it just like that. It has a nice vintage look. <laughs> oh, man. It had to be cracked. It has some issues with the hinges, too, because it's double empty. Yeah, it's getting it's ruined. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Let me see who makes it. Oh, I'm just... I need my loop. Let's see. Oops. It says Japan Movement. This is beautiful. I'm st I'm going to still add this to my collection. I'm going to get it shined up because it's gorgeous. It make a gorgeous display. I love those cross. It has a gothic look, and you know I love that gothic look. So, um, I think you could even have these replaced, but it won't have that beautiful um vintage uh glass. Oh man, that's a bummer. Mm. Wow. That's a shame. This is cute. A little stopwatch. You put a chain. I like that. I'm not, I don't have anything like that. I'll keep that. That is cute. So this doesn't open, right? No, it doesn't open. It's just one piece. That is nice. That's so antique. Wow. It's a nice stainless piece. It's by West Clock. I love that. That is cute. You can just wear it, you know, as a pendant. That's cute. Cute find. Um, oh, we got some uh, Murano beads. It's nice. There's some beautiful beads. Yeah, I'm going to take these apart and I could do something with that. Some great design in there. That's definitely Murano beads. Do you see how beautiful those are? Yeah, that's Murano. Just gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I have a couple like that. Something similar. What's that? 
abalone piece. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I've been dying to get to that piece. Oh no, I see some coral. Wow. Okay, this is the bag that keeps on giving. Okay, so this is what I was seeing. Um, who makes it? There's a name tag on it. It says... Well, I'm not familiar with that name. Called Tresca. And I don't know. She must have had a boutique or something. But let's see what she's she has to offer. Well, that's a cute piece still. It has some beautiful beads. I don't know if I like this, but I do like what's on it, and I could always take them off and turn it into something. I have some beautiful glass beads. Do you see that? All, all down. Especially these green ones. Those are gorgeous. And then these cute teardrop purple beads. And they have this beautiful ir iridescence. Um, sort of like Aurora Borealis. I don't know if you could see it. Even this one is Northern Lights. See that? That is beautiful. Wow. It's cute. And then it has this flat little uh, abalone, which is gorgeous. I have a couple of these already. Um, let me see. Like I said, I really don't like the necklace. It's not my style. I'm just thinking, will I want to take it apart, or do I want to just leave it because, you know, it's original? I guess I'd have to Google who Tresca is, and if she's very important, then maybe I'll keep it. But if not, I may take it apart. I love these green beads right here. And then I love this piece here, what's going on here. That's super, super cute. All right. Oh, this is beautiful. It does need a polish. That's gorgeous. Beautiful vintage bracelet. Isn't that gorgeous? It's in one piece, too. This closes like that. Yeah, that's cute. I think they want to be Tiffany. They're not Tiffany, though. I don't see any signature. Yeah, I don't see any signature, but I love it. Uh, it, it just may be sterling. It looks sterling, if you ask me. It's gorgeous. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. Wow. This is some kind of necklace. So it's tangled. This smells this stuff smells really weird. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it looks like it's broke. Something's going on. I don't know, but I'm not interested in that. It's cute. It has a lot of little cat eye beads. Oh, this is sterling too. Yeah, you see the little beads, the sterling ones? Those sterling. There's no class on it, though. Um, I actually like that. It's cute. And then we have some... Um, I had one of these before. This is plastic. Where's my alcohol wipe? Let me see. I think it's plastic, though. I know it's glass. Wow, that's a beautiful glass bead. And I don't like this necklace at all. So I'll take that glass bead there, and um, I don't think I like anything else. These aren't ugly, but I don't know. I may or may not keep them. We got some nice Aurora Borealis beads, though. You see it right there? With the, got the metallic on it, and yeah. There's some cute beads on here. So, uh, it's at least six more, more Aurora Borealis beads. Yeah, there they, they go two more right there. But this is really nice. I like that bead. I wish it was two of those. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I see some um, cameo earrings. Oh, wow. If we could have found the other one, we would be blessed. I doubt it if it's in here, though. He normally would sell me something like this because he knows I love this stuff. Oh, it's so gorgeous. 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's a nice screw back cameo. If I find the other one, I'm going to be in heaven. <laughs> if I find the other one, I will be in heaven. But like I said, he would normally sell me something like that. Yeah, he won't put it in the bag. Okay, I'm seeing some coral. Let's see if it's real. Oh, no, this is how light. Yeah, it's how light. How light and shell. It's gorgeous, though. I love it. That's a beautiful piece. It's got three strands on either side. See that? One, two, three. And then going up is three beads. And then on the bottom, you have that. That's beautiful. I love it. Of course, it would be stunning if it was coral. See, all of this is shell. And this is how light. But it looks like coral. And that is beautiful. My goodness. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the gold tone, the gold beads that's on the top. You see that? That's to die for. Look at that three strand. That is beautifully done. It needs a different clasp, though. Is that the clasp that came with? It's so large. I might want to change that out. It has a name, too. Looks like C something. CJ. CG. Yeah, I've had jewelry from that maker before. Uh -huh. but this is not an old piece. It's not an old piece at all. It's just made to look old. Okay, so you know what I'm looking for now, right? The other cameo earring. <laughs> I know it ain't in here. This is cute. Some got to do something with it. Stuff is broke, but I'm going to keep that. Beautiful chandelier pendant. See, all the little chandeliers are gone, but I can just add something or just cut all this stuff off. This is beautiful. It's missing a rhinestone, too. One there and one here. Just two. One in the middle there and one there. Isn't that beautiful? And I love sturdy, solid pieces like that. That's gorgeous. That's a nice find right there. Wow. wonder what was hanging. I know I got tons of stuff I can hang, so that would not be a problem. Okay. Well, this is cute. Is that a A? I think that's an A. Yeah, I tend to keep little pieces like that, little pendants with letters and stuff like that. And here's the other earring to that one. So this is cute. I do like these, but they're so cheaply made. No, it's not. Not cheaply made. It's got rhinestones. It's kind of cute with that detail. I like that. I'll keep those. Yeah. That reminds me of um. Oh, um, oh. I can't think of the name. It's like a biker thing. Okay, this is cute. A little merry-go-round, but one piece is missing. Oh, that's cute. You have a horse and some kind of duck. Isn't that cute? It's a merry-go-round. Let's see, one is missing. Oh, that's a pendant. It's nicely made. That is darling. I'm sure I have something else to hang on there to make it substantial. And this is a nice piece. Why is it bent back like that? Maybe that's the way it is. This is an imitation cameo, though. It's not shell. But I will keep it. That's cute. A small little pendant. What's this? I don't know what that is. I do like these though. I'm, for some reason I'm drawn to it. I'm not sure about that. It's some more of that here too. It's all broken apart. Oh no, this is something separate. Oh, that's a necklace. Oh, this is cute, but it's got a lot of uh, rust or tarnish or something going on. I had to look at that. And this is a big old, not sure. I don't think I'm going to keep that either. Oh, this is nice. I'll add that to my copper collection. That's cute. I don't think it'll fit any of my fingers. Oh, it does. 
And you just wear it like that, huh? Wow, it's so cold. That hurts still. I can't wear stuff like that, but that's a nice to add to my collection. I'm seeing some more Murano. It's broke. The necklace is broke. Oh, that's pretty. And I believe this is Murano because they specialize in these little twirly beads. Yeah. So this one is actually, oh yes, no question. That's Murano. No question. Let's see if there's even a mark. You know, I have Murano. That's why I know what it is. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let me show it to you. You need to clean it. Yeah, but the necklace is broke. Like the string, see it's broke. That's a bummer. I could re-thread it though. You just need a string. That is beautiful. You see the detail? You see how perfect it is? Perfectly done? Yeah, when you can see through the back like that, one solid color that's Murano, and then you see how this this is this is how this is their detail this little hoop right here nobody else does that that's a Murano piece that's gorgeous wow i'm so happy that i got that that's beautiful oh i just need to fix it oh my god wait till i call my friend and let him know that's Murano. and like i said the only reason why i know what it is because i have Murano pieces that are stamped so i know what to look for Here's a cute little heart, little trinket bracelet. <laughs> Maybe I could shine it up and fix it. That's cute. It's very cheaply made, but I'll keep that. Let me see. I think we're going to end the video. I don't think I see anything else. This is nice. Is this copper? Yeah, this is copper too. I'm not sure. Copper ring. It needs to be clean. That's cute. That's a cute find. Some more of those teddy bears. We got some hematite. We love us some hematite. They stick together like magnets. It's all tangled with this, but I'll cut this out and keep the little blue glass and the hematites here. And if they're magnetic, is it fake or real? I can't remember. I did the, he the hematite video. I think if it's magnetic, they're not real, right? Yeah, I think that was it. So those are not real. This is gorgeous. A heart earring. Oh, that's gorgeous. I hope I find the other one. So I'm still looking for that other cameo, but I don't see it. That's sad. It may be in here by the time you're done. That's cute. I'll keep that and just add it to my watch collection because I like to collect stuff like that. Little ring, ring watches. Oh, this is pretty. Wow, this is real glass. This is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. There's some, there were some really beautiful pieces in here. That is gorgeous. Like a sunflower? Oh my gosh, that's to die for. What kind of stone is that? I don't know, but that stone is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's got rhinest it's got um it's got um mercosites all in it. I didn't even notice and it's gold. Gosh, this is beautiful. Can you see all the mercosites in there? They're all stamped in there. That's gold. Jesus Christ. I don't think he realized he gave me a gold piece of uh, jewelry. Oh, my goodness. And you guys know I, I have a lot of mercosite jewelry, but I don't have any gold mercosite. I think I have one piece. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. Of course, it's gold plated. It is a great, great plate. I can't, I don't see a signature though. This is cute. When you do stuff like this, as soon as you get your pens closed, and I don't see a signature, none of these things have signatures. This is cute. That's a cute piece. I wish it were brass. I like to collect these, but I like the brass ones or sterling. And I don't know about that piece. I may keep it just because I collect animals. Here's another nice vintage watch. This leather is in great shape. That's the front. Let me look at it. It says Mason. This is pretty. It's got gold leaves going around. This beautiful antique glass. This is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Let me show it to you. 
Got a nice black leather band on it. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if you can see this. I can't tell. That is beautiful though. Great find, great find. I've been having a lot of great finds. Lots of great finds. What time is it? We've been here. Oh my gosh, it's almost an hour. You know, here's some more of that stuff. There's another one. I don't think I'm going to keep these. It's not my style. They're very cheaply made. They're not too cheaply made, but I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that one. I kind of like that one better. I'll have to decide. I think that's going to be it, guys. Oh, we forgot about this. Okay, let's see what this is. It's milk glass. Yeah, it's milk glass. It's broke. But I, 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 what, I, what? I love these beads. These are gorgeous. I will definitely use them. So the, the glass, the, the beads are definitely antique because they're just super, super heavy. They don't make stuff like this. But someone put it on a string. Maybe the necklace broken so they just put it on here because this is definitely not a vintage string. So I'm thinking that's what happened. That's why I thought it was fake because of the string, but it's just, it's not. They don't make stuff like this, right? Solid milk glass beads. No, there's just no way. These are gorgeous. I will be making a necklace out of that. Real cute. I like that. I never found those the earring either, this chandelier earring. I never did find that. And what's this? This is pretty. Oh my gosh, this is a bag of just keeps giving and giving. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. I will show you guys in just a second. This is beautiful. It's got rubies. And uh, like I guess, is that real diamond? It looks like real diamonds. It's a beautiful piece. What is it? Okay, one is missing though. Oh no, okay, it's supposed to be a heart shape. Oh. Uh, a heart-shaped piece is missing out of it. And this is a beautiful piece. And this is a bronze. Let me show it to you. My gosh, that is gorgeous. I'm trying to see what it is. It may be like a Christmas holiday piece. But you see right here, there's a heart. And then you have the little uh, prongs that hold the heart. The heart came out. And I'm sure I have a heart glass. And I'll just put it in there and all the prongs seem to be there let me look yeah all the prongs are there they're in shape nothing's broke and then there's a few other pieces of uh jewelry that's missing little diamond after these may it may be real rubies and diamonds can you see that right there let me show it to you with that the little tiny holes there you go on top they look like real glass to me let me use my little Cause I doubt if he would give me a diamond, and he uses his loop. Oh no, it's not real. It sure looks like it though. Yeah, it's not real. That's a beautiful piece. My gosh, what is it? It's a pendant though. You see that, right? All you do is put a chain on, and you wear. But I gotta see if I can uh, find our little heart. Even if you wear it like that, you can't tell because the heart shape is there, so it just looks like it's part of the necklace. It's kind of like a spin wheel like a roman piece this thing is beautiful it's super super old it's got like some little crowns going all the way around little tiny crowns all the way on the outside of the wheels there's little tiny crowns all like a king's crown a prince crown a king's crown and on top is a beautiful one this is a beautiful solid piece oh my gosh you see how solid and thick that is this thing is thick Oh, I'm, this is this is like the best thing. I know that Murano piece is gorgeous, but I don't know, man. This is beautiful. Oh my God, I've never seen nothing like this. This is stunning. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Okay, shut the front door. Shut the front door. I really want you to get a close in. That is gorgeous. Mm. Okay, yes, I'm going to be wearing that tomorrow. I'm going to find somewhere to go just to wear it. 
And I don't see the other cameo earring. It may be stuck in somewhere. You never know. Because I haven't pulled everything apart. These earrings? Oh, no. No, those are not earrings. Something's broke. Excuse me. Those are cute little sterling rings. It's not worth showing you. That's why I'm not showing you. I'm just trying to see what's what. Oh, here's another bracelet. This one is not as nice as the other one, but I love heart jewelry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it, it looks like it's stuck. I'm trying to figure it out. Does that come through? I think that comes through. I think. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, are these two? Are these two? Wait, I'm getting confused. What's this thing here? Oh, it's a double. Oh, that is super cute. Oh, my gosh. That is darling. I love it. I love these. It's so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, I get excited when I start saying, oh, my goodness. I got two of them. Oh, I love sweetheart jewelry. I just love it. Those are cute. They're not as old as I like the pieces to be, but I'll take it. It's still vintage. We got some rope chain. Let's see about this. So sometimes you have to keep buying jewelry from the person. You'll find the other earring. So I'm going to have to call him and tell him I'll get another bag. And I may find the uh, match to that cameo. Yeah. Because he does not sort the jewelry out. Not at all. Okay, why is this stuck here? Oh, that's part of the necklace. Oh, no, this is all stuck together. But it's nice. It's a uh, beautiful uh, rope chain with some kind of, like, uh, access. Like, it's another chain. To, isn't that beautiful? Let me see if I can find the hinges. It's, all, it's just too tangled. I can't get to it, but... The, oh, there's the, oh my God, I see the signature, the hinge is right here, it says, oh, Monet, oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me, yeah, you guys know I collect Monet jewelry, what, this is beautiful, I love vintage rope chains, I have quite the collection, this was a really nice bag, it was a really nice bag, I didn't even pay much. $40. And he wanted 30 I gave him 40 because I could tell by the weight that it would be some cute stuff. He said he charged me 30 I was like, 30 bucks. He said, well, 35 I said, I'll give you 40 Well, you can't take uh, $30 out the ATM anyway. So I had to take the money out the ATM. I never have money on me. I don't touch money. I need to start, though. And, um... You only could take out 220 so <laughs> I really want to get this apart so I can show you guys. Oh, and there's a beautiful glass bead necklace next to it. That is super, super cute. It's so tangly. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm lost now. Okay, let's backtrack. I can't. It's just too tangly. It's so tangly. It's going to take some time. But it's a beautiful necklace, and I should have known it was Monet, because look at the clasp. That's a Monet clasp. You see it? Yeah, those are standard for Monet, at least during this period. You know, the um, more of her antique ones. Oh my gosh, it's so tangly, I just can't get it away. But the chain is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Darn it. Okay, we got some turquoise beads, too. It's a turquoise necklace. It looks like it's all there. But I don't like the... Oh, yes, I do. This is actually nice. Oh, these aren't real turquoise. They sure fooled me for a minute. Let me see. No, it's not. It's just plastic. But that's kind of cute, too. I don't think I want to keep that, though. We got some more. Oh, look what I found. I think this is that piece. Sure enough, it's a tiger to that merry-go-round thing. 
Okay, so all in the the, uh, the the piece is there. All I got to do is open it and put it right on. Oh, that's great. So I, I that's cute because I love animal jewelry. Oh my gosh, that's darling. So I have to fix that. That's fun. Oh, this is gorgeous. You know, I love these type of vintage earrings. I don't see another one though. Man, this is super super cute. There's so much stuff in here. Um. I can untangle these. My granddaughter, she may like some of these. They're very pretty, in great condition. This is modern stuff. It's by 1946C, whoever that is. Cute. Cute. And she likes sterling, but she may wear it. Oh, wow. This is cute, too. It's not a heart, but it's a circle. That's cute, too. I shall keep that. And this doesn't stop. This is pretty. It would be nice if it was two of these. Man, this is gorgeous. A cute little brass earring. That's cute. Kind of has a little scotch bonnet design going on. I hope I can find the other one to that. That's cute. This is cute too. Some rhinestone earrings. I don't see the other one. Oh, this is... Oh, that's a ring. I thought it was a hair clip. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to keep that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to keep that. It's in great condition, though. Like, the stretch is not stretched. Normally, I find them there stretched. So, here's some um, cat's eye earring. That's pretty if I find the other one, a white cat's eye. If not, I'll just keep it and take the bead off. So all the things that I'm going to turn into craft, I'm going to we'll do a video on, and I'll show you how I take the bead off, and then I'll put that with my white uh, beads. Yeah, I mean it's that simple. That's cute. Some children's earrings, some clip-ons. Well, maybe that's not for children, cause children they didn't make clip-on for children, right? That's nice. What else is in here? This is a nice uh, glass bead uh, necklace, too. You see that? That's beautiful. Yes, I will definitely keep that. I cannot get it apart. It's so tangled. But that's beautiful. Where's my thing at? Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. That's beautiful. That's another necklace. Is that the same one? I think that's the same one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to give the other thing over there a shake just to see if I see any of the earrings that I was looking for, which I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I see. Oh, man, the cameo earring's not there. That's a bummer. But we got some beautiful pieces. Let's wrap up what we do got. I'm not going to keep this since that's a hobbyist piece. I'm not into that. But I may take it apart and keep the actual pieces. And this is a nice back to make a brooch. Yeah. Um, this is a gorgeous heart right here. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The necklace is filthy. That's going in the trash, but I'm definitely going to keep that heart. Okay, so that's one thing that we found, right? And um, this is a nice necklace, too. This is cute. I just got to get it apart. And it does. this end is not broke, so hopefully the other end is not broke. What's that? Huh? Okay. Well, that's cute. It's a stick pin. It says ten and a half <laughs> in brass. That's cute. You know, I collect pins, so that's cute for me. All right. Oh, I think I found. Is that is that the same one? Did I put the other one over here? No, I don't see it. So I think that's the same one. Yeah, darn it! I got excited. <laughs> I think that's the same one. This is cute too, but I only see one to clip on. Okay, and let's wrap up with I with some nice pieces that we got. We're gonna put them all on here. Okay, that heart is cute, and I'm loving this. This is beautiful. I just love it. It's gorgeous. And we got some um, cute little earrings. And um, this may even be my favorite piece because I have no gold marker sites. I can't believe it. 
And it's beautiful. It may even be a sapphire. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me show it to you again. It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So, and you wear it this way. It's a sunflower. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see the market site? Oh, my gosh. Beautiful piece. Okay, we got some little brooches. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that. I have that Art Deco vibe. This may be one of the best pieces here because that's real Murano. Let me show it to you again so you know what you're looking for. See that curl? That big curl like that and that big wide back? That's Murano. You can see through it and it's one solid color. That's how you know. And then, of course, you see the detail on it. And then they're known for these kind of twist things. That's what they do. That's they're known for that. So I automatically know it's Murano once I see that. Uh, this is a great find too. This uh, merry-go-round. That's to die for. I have nothing like that, and I'm super excited about this piece. I'm so happy I found the piece, but I would have found something to put on it. But I actually have the same. I mean, because they they're standing on poles, so it's good I found that one. Easy fix. The circles. The all I do is open it up and put it on. It just came off because it just got loose over time. Cute piece. Cute, 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 cute piece. And this is nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, though. Uh, this is a nice addition to my copper and brass jewelry. I do love these Murano beads. And uh, this is a beautiful piece, too. This rhinestone. That's to die for. Oh, my gosh. We got the stick pin. That is gorgeous. I got a lot of stuff. Like I said, I gave him $40 and he wanted $30. This right here is gorgeous. I love this. Like I said, I love things with hinges. Something that I'm obsessed with. This is cute. And this one is, I, I don't even know what to say about this. This piece is so old. If, if, if you can just touch it, you can feel that it's just an old, you know, it's not the stuff that they sell now. It's not vintage. This is an antique. It's hand carved. You, can you see the carvings? Let me show you. You can see the hand where they struck it to cut the piece out. Do you see that? Oh, yes. It's all there. Just beautiful. That's a hand carved piece. And even the front. It's just gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. Nothing's perfect. It's all. It's one hand carved piece. It's just to die for. Oh, my gosh. This is just I'm just, I don't even have the words for a piece like this. This is just a beautiful piece to add. Why would he even give me this? He should have kept this for himself. This is gorgeous. But I guess it's it's more feminine. It's just beautiful. And, you know, someone actually made this. They just carved it out with some tools. You can see all the tool markings in the back. All. Even in the front. Like, these little things on the side, they're all, you can see where it's carved. Just, that's just gorgeous. I don't even have the words for that. Um, I'm not going to keep these. I'm, I don't like stuff like that. And then we got some uh, cute, we got cute collection of watches. I'm very happy. I have another watch to my collection that's similar to this that's cracked. It doesn't bother me. I just love, I love to collect them. So I'm going to keep that. And um, I'll keep that even though it's not, I really don't like it, but I'll keep it. Um, I'm in love with this Wrangler watch. That's a cute find. Um, this was cute with the little uh, lovebirds. That's a cute vintage piece. I like, like, like that. This was a disappointment, though, because I was so excited and I realized that a piece is broke. And so if you could see, it probably was a whole nother, like another piece of vine or maybe another one of these hoops. That's a bummer. This is a beautiful, beautiful Victorian piece. It's gorgeous, but man, it's broke. I'm still going to keep it because you can still wear it. It doesn't look broke. Oh, this is cute, you know. Oh, you know what? I just realized the glass is missing. Okay, so I won't keep that. Yeah, I just realized that the glass is missing. So I won't keep that. Oh, <laughs> and then we got my hearts. Oh, he knows I like hearts. <laughs> he knows I like hearts. He gave me so many hearts. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite one with these rhinestones. I wish it said Tanya, it says Allison. Well, I'm going to be Allison when I wear it because that's what's going down. That is gorgeous. It's super, super solid and heavy, beautiful pieces. They don't make stuff like that anymore. They just don't. And then I have these beautiful, beautiful um, 
part kind of like um you know you could put little um what's what I'm trying to um oh gosh charms you could put charms on they like charm bracelets you know you can add stuff um, this one, I'm not too crazy about it, but I'm not giving it up. I'm not. I just can't. That ha that heart is just to die for. Yeah. But you could tell the chain. Like, this one is sterling. This one is not. Yeah. So, in fact, I may just take this heart off. In fact, this doesn't even go to this now that I'm looking at it. It doesn't even go. And you can see it's two totally different materials. You see that? And this piece right here doesn't belong this piece belongs with that. It's tarnished, so this might even be sterling. See how thick it is? Let me show you. Yeah, that might even be sterling. And this is definitely not sterling, so I'm going to get rid of this cheap piece of thing here. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to keep that beautiful vintage heart. It's gorgeous. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I just noticed that. And then this is cute. I may or may not keep that. I'm not sure. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. Because it's not a charm. It's just a thing that you push that through. Yeah, so you won't even see it. See, I thought that was a charm circle, so I won't keep that. And then we're almost done. Um, I actually like this. And so I'm going to keep that. I think that's really cute. Very cute. I like, you know, I love geometric shapes. And I love gold. And it has a nice, nice gold luxury on it. It's kind of like um, sawdust? It looks like sawdust is on it. It's uh, gorgeous. I, I really like that. I really like that a lot. And what else did we find? Um, oh, the milk glass beads is a to die for. I'm going to make something beautiful with that. And then we got this. And I'm not too crazy about it, but um, I like it. Yeah, I do like it, and I will wear it. I wish it was real coral, though. It's how like If that thing was real coral, it would be stunning. Oh, yeah, and then we got some abalone. I'm going to take this apart. I don't like it, so I'm going to take it apart and just use little pieces. Um, and this is a beautiful pendant, so I will keep that and just make another necklace out of it. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, The two spectacular pieces... And then we're going to stop the video. I, I, I'm just excited. Like, these are some really beautiful pieces. Oh, my gosh. Murano. That's Murano glass. I know it when I see it because I have some in mind to sign. So, I know what it is. And I just can't believe that it was in a grab bag that I spent $40. Uh, this necklace, I'm sure whoever bought it paid way more than $40 for it. <laughs> beautiful pieces oh my gosh i can't even choose which one i like better they're both showstoppers here i had some nice finds guys this was a great pickup too bad this guy wasn't here that would have been really nice but i'm still going to keep her i'm not going to part with her i collect stuff like that even if it's not a set here okay guys i hope you enjoy i'll see you next time if i had a husband i'll give him that it's a great find Nice stainless steel. Cute. These are light because you would wear them on your neck so, or inside your vest so couldn't pull your vest down. So this is so super, super, super cute. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time. God bless. I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm not really selling anything right now. You know, no one doesn't seem to be interested in buying anything. Oh, let me, let me see how long we've been here. Oh, my God. We've been here an hour. I put this beautiful cameo set I wanted to show you, but it's time to go. I'll show it to you another video. Yeah, we've been here an hour and eight minutes. I kept you long enough. God bless. <laughs>